Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 49. So today we continue our training inside of our website's applet, and we're going to take a look at customizations that you can make to your agent site homepage. So let's dive into our last applet down here on the left-hand side, the website applet. And I recognized something when I was doing the last bit of last video. The screen looked a little bit different. I wasn't quite sure. One thing to note, when you're making edits to your agent site, I highly recommend that you make sure you're on the My Websites tab and then choose to edit agent site. <clears throat> this is going to take you into sort of the uh, beginner editing mode. I like to call it sort of the easy bake website option. Uh, if you go into settings and choose to edit your website from this button, it takes you directly into the advanced mode. Now we're going to get into both, and yet to start off, I highly recommend that you go through the edit agent site button on the My Websites tab. So I'm going to click on agent site, and that's going to open up this page. So this is the page we didn't see last video. This is sort of that um, introductory sort of simple editor for your website, again, sort of the easy bake site here. Uh, expert mode is what I just talked about. We're gonna get into expert mode uh, in a couple of videos, so don't worry, we'll get there. Uh, but to start, we're gonna stay in this basic mode. At any point you're making any changes to the home page and you wanna actually see what it looks like, you can click on this view in browser and it'll actually pull up your agent site for you. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see you've got the home page that we can make edits to. We're gonna go into the rest of this ad content and design studio in the next video. Uh, but to start, let's check out your homepage. So we're gonna click on homepage <clears throat> and we're gonna get some editing capability. Here in the main screen, it's gonna show you your actual homepage. And this is how that's seen on a desktop or laptop. If you wanna see how it's shown on a tablet, you can click on that tablet icon, <clears throat> excuse me, and then you can see what it looks like on a mobile device. So we'll go back to the computer and desktop mode. On the left-hand side here, the first thing that you can customize is your headline title. So sort of in this banner section, the default is let's find your dream home. All right, so I might wanna change that to let's uh, buy or sell real estate in Katy, Texas. So I can put that in. I could go down right now and just, uh, well, not down. I can come over and click on publish and we're going to see that that's going to update immediately. So if you just want to see your changes as you go through per step, click publish between each step and you'll see what changes look like. Uh, next underneath your headline title, you can see you've got some images that are rotating through. There are three images that are sort of stock images, if you will, that have already been uploaded for your use. And if you make no changes, those are the three images that will be rotated through. You can also choose to delete any of these images by clicking on the trash can. You can add additional images by clicking on browse and that's gonna open up your computer browser and you could go through and add additional uh, background photos if you choose to. And I would recommend that, especially because most of our websites are going to be geographic specific and you wanna make sure that the geography of the photos sort of matches the area that you're selling in. Um, you can also do a video, which is pretty cool. So if you click on video, it's gonna say, is it a YouTube video, a Vimeo video, or do you wanna upload a video? Um, so I actually have one in Vimeo that I've used before and so I'm gonna go get that link and we're gonna come back and we're gonna drop that link in and then we're gonna click on publish and I'll just show you sort of what that looks like. Now just know with a video link, it does take a little bit longer to load in the background, but you can see now we've got that background video that sort of highlights what properties look like here in Katy, Texas, at least for me. Um, you can scroll down a little bit further as far as the content goes. Right now, by default, you have this search bar that's been added. If you wanna leave that alone, no, no harm, no foul, people can come to your site and look for properties. If you want to uh, disable them from finding lease or rental properties, you can click on this toggle and they would not be able to search for lease or rental properties. So if we click on publish, we'll see right now you have buy and rent. 
and that will go away and now they're only searching for properties to purchase. So that can be up to you whether you want rentals on your site or not. Next up, you've got the Featured Property section. So if we scroll down, you can actually scroll in the center screen to see what it looks like. And by default, the headline title for this section is just simply Featured Properties, and there's no default description. So we can change this to say, uh, check out the newest property, uh, let's see, homes, newest homes for sale in Katy, Texas. Um, and then description, um, you know, you can put whatever you want here. Uh, contact me for a private tour for any of the properties shown below. All right, let's see what that looks like. We're gonna click on publish and then see what that center section changes to. So now you can see, check out the newest homes for sale in Katy, Texas. Um, you know. I'm kind of a stickler on making your your, con, your uh, formatting match, so it might come through here just because it bothers me. And I would say check out, and let's leave our articles non-capitalized and our keywords capitalized, and there we go, we'll publish. And so you can see, you can go through and make changes and then click on publish and it'll show you actively what it looks like. And then again, remember, you can see what it looks like in tablet and what it looks like in mobile. All right, scrolling down, uh, the interesting thing on your featured properties is that you uh, cannot remove rentals, but you can change your price point. So right now, even though you can't search for rentals on my site, it's showing us rentals that are coming up, but I can come in and say, hey, I want the minimum price point on my website to be, let's just say 250K. Um, I also want the center point for properties to show up, right? I said check out the newest homes for sale in Katy, Texas, but if I do a 25 mile radius, I'm actually going outside of Katy, Texas. So it doesn't really make sense if I'm saying Katy, Texas, and then you're seeing properties in Fulcher and Houston and Richmond, etc. So I might make changes to that, and let's just say I wanna go down to five miles. So I can drag this slider over to five miles. I can click on publish and then we can look and see, right? Okay, we made a change to the price point, we made a change to the, pot, the radius, and now you can see, there we go, we've got properties that are showing up um, uh, above that price point, that 250 price point, and so far all of them are in Katy. Uh, so we're gonna scroll down a little bit further. Next, you've got the testimonial section. Now you can see on my site, it's not actually showing up. And it tells us why here on the right hand side, this module will not display unless you have testimonials captured. We're gonna talk about how to do that in a couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave that section alone. And then finally, I've got the blog list section. So you can see there are already four pre-created blogs for your use. They all talk about the first time home buyer experience. So um, you might change this to headline title, uh, new to the home buying experience um, and then check out our four part guide to buying a home as a first time home buyer all right there we go and i can click on publish and we'll see what that looks like so again, all of these edits can be made to completely customize your homepage so that it's unique and different and just represents you. So you can now see new to the home buying experience, check out our four part guide to buying a home as a first time home buyer. Any of these sections that you see, if you notice, there's a little eyeball icon next to each one of these. If you don't want that section to show of the three sections below, you can always just choose to hide it. Now remember testimonials is automatically hidden if you don't have any. But let's say I just didn't want the blogs on my site. I could click on the eyeball, close that eyeball, and all of a sudden, if I publish, now the blog section on my homepage is no longer. All right, so you can see all we've got is featured properties and the search button. So I can customize any one of those. I'm gonna click on publish again. If I wanna see again the site in a full browser, I can always click on view in browser and there it'll pull up and we can see what it looks like the first time, right, inside of this site. So 
here's my featured listings, all right, and here's the home buying experience. Now what's interesting that I'm noticing, and we'll see what happens in the future, uh, but technically in Texas, we don't typically show sold properties, um, or at least give the value of the property sold. So I'm gonna look into this a little bit further, uh, because typically, again, you're not gonna see sold data on a site like this, and you certainly wouldn't see the price disclosed. So we'll find out more about this. This is the first time I've actually seen sold data showing up on a Texas-based site. Uh, so that's thrown me for a little bit of a loop, but I'll get more information about that and I'll get back to you on the next video. That's it for today, guys. Really just sort of the um, basics of your KW agent site homepage, the easy bake mode inside of your uh, website's applet. Tomorrow we're gonna go into some additional customization options where you can change what the actual entire site looks like. So stay tuned for that and we'll check on adding some additional pages as well. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.